Frock has been critical of the Bolton, born boxer, branding him Bambi after his derby defeat to British rival Brooke on Saturday. But Mock Doom, who has been married to Khan since 2013, expressed her intense dislike of Frock as she feels he is jealous of their success. On Frock's interview with Eiffel TV, she wrote on Twitter, I rarely ever say bad about anyone but I actually can't stand Karl Frock. Simply rude and annoying. Wonder if it upsets him that Khan made more money than him. I rarely ever say bad about anyone but I actually can't stand Karl Frock. Simply rude and annoying. Wonder if it upsets him that Khan made more money than him. Smiley face, hater. Ferial Mock Doom, at Ferial Mock Doom, February 23, 2022 in a follow, up tweet, she added, Thank you King Khan for all the excitement you brought to the sport of boxing. Without you British boxing wouldn't be the same. You inspire us all. Thank you King Khan for all the excitement you brought to the sport of boxing. Without you British boxing wouldn't be the same. You inspire us all. Heart, Team Khan at Amir King can pick. Twitter.com slash RQTM 10 ZCZX. Ferial Mock Doom, at Ferial X Mock Doom, February 22, 2022. To his credit, Khan ended up being too brave for his own good as he refused to go down before the referee intervened to stop the inevitable from happening. However, Frog believes the fight should have been stopped before that as he was getting badly hurt. He showed greater powers of recovery for a couple of rounds. You've got to give him his credit, they could've pulled him out after 3 or 4, Frog told Eiffel TV. It could've been stopped a bit earlier, people were just saying to me in the crowd there that the fight was stopped too early, but I disagree. I think the referee done Khan a bit of a favor there because he was getting badly hurt, he was getting badly beat up, his legs were gone. You've got to give him credit. I can't just stand here and say that it was a bad performance because it wasn't, he stayed in there. And he did himself proud in terms of trying to just be involved in the fight. But I thought Brooke was class tonight. His timing was there, he was poised, landing accurate blows, and every time he clipped Khan on the chin, whether it was a jab or a right hand, Khan was bang in trouble. 100%, without a doubt, has got to retire. And what a great retirement fight. Has been paid handsomely for another beating and he needs to say to himself that's it now, that'll do me. How much can you take? What is he, 35 or 36 years old? It's not healthy getting punched in the head. Has got to think of his future. 